Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am testing this new hair tool. So this is the Remington Twist and Curl one inch multi styler. This is what the box looks like. And this can give you three different looks. So you can straighten your hair with it. You can give yourself beachy waves or you can even give yourself more of like a very wavy look. And I haven't tried it yet. This should be really interesting. I've heard mixed reviews on this. I've seen that some people absolutely love it and other people not so much. This retails for $34 and it kind of reminds me of that time one. So I think this is like the less expensive dupe. I've never tried a Remington brand hair tool before. So let's get into it. The way that you turn this on is there's a power button in here and you just press it and then you'll see this display light up. And the way that you control the temperature is by turning this bottom dial. So I'm gonna set it on, let's try 380, because that's usually around where I keep my hair tools. What's interesting is it jumps from 380 to 410. So I feel like that is a pretty big leap for a hair tool. So let's start at 380 and see what it does. I'm gonna let that heat up. And really, I'm not using anything in my hair today, so I gave it a blowout yesterday. I'm going to brush through it with my, this is the best hairbrush in the world. This is the Marula Oil hairbrush. If you have a dry, brittle, damaged, or tangly hair, you need this hairbrush. It will change your life. And then I'm going to use just two hair clips. So the way that I normally curl my hair or straighten my hair, what I do is I'll grab most of it. I usually do it in four sections, so like grab three quarters of my hair for the first section, twist it, and then put it on top of my head and clip it in, just like that. And then I'll pull each of the back sides, split them in half and pull them to the front. So today I'm gonna to be testing the beachy waves portion of this. So you clamp a one to one and a half inch section of your hair between the plates near the root. You rotate the styler at 180 degrees and and slowly glide down the remaining section in this position without stopping. Remove the appliance and brush comb through the curl to loosen. Breaking up the curls before they're fully cooled will loosen them even further. And then you repeat this around your entire head to create as many curls as desired. And you can hold the styler however you feel is most comfortable. And then this has a memory function. So each time you use the product, it will set itself at the last temperature that you used. So pretty straightforward. Let's go. So I'm gonna split this in half. So this is probably like a one inch section, I would say. And then you clamp near the roots, turn at 180 degrees, and then glide it down the hair. Ooh, you can like feel it pulling my hairs. Not feel it, but hear it. Wow, look at that. I don't know if I would call this beachy. This is pretty curled for me, but it's cool. All right, so just comparing side by side, these curls look like two completely different curls, right? Like this side is, it kind of looks a little ratchet <laughs> and this side is much more defined and like smooth and bouncy. Very interesting. I'm just gonna keep going. We'll see what this turns into. Usually the bottom portion of my hair doesn't, the curl doesn't really last. So it's not like, that big of a deal what those curls look like. Let's see how it is as I move up my head. Okay, this is a thicker chunk of hair. So I'm probably gonna wanna break this up into more small sections. So this says if you wanna do like 
tighter, bigger curls, not the beachy. Uh, that's weird. Um, okay, that's like a very sad looking curl. Let me try that one again. So it says if you want to do like the more voluminous curls that you want to, oh, look at that. Ooh, it's like I was holding a curling iron down. You know how you get that crease in it? I'm gonna let this piece cool a little bit. Okay, anyways, it says if you want tighter curls, you just grab smaller portions of hair. <laughs> that was so hard for me to get out because I'm like focused on this one curl. So the bottom looks cool, but the top just, okay. Do you see that? Like the top is not curling very much, but the curls look okay, so I'm just going to move on. All right. So clamp it, turn it 180. And I always curl away from my face just because I like it and I have a lot of hair. <laughs> that one did nothing. Let's try this again. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Okay. Clamp it and then curl. What? Nothing is happening. Look. Maybe I have too much hair here, even though I don't think I do. But let's try a little bit less and see. Okay, this is crazy, right? Like, nothing is happening to this strand. because I don't want to burn my hair off with this. That's so weird. Wow, it's like nothing happened. I wonder if it's because this is probably the healthiest hair on my head. Like I never really color it. You can see the roots over here. Okay. That was weird, it curled half of the section. Am I just grabbing too much hair? Like this is not very much hair that I'm grabbing. That's probably like an inch, right? So weird. It's weird, like starting at the roots doesn't really seem to do anything. It's like it doesn't really curl up here, which is normal even with a curling iron, but like I don't really start at a root the curling iron. Moving on. Nothing. <sighs> this is fun. I would be done curling my hair by now. <laughs> I could do my whole head in like four minutes. <laughs> Maybe not really, but you know what I'm saying. This is taking forever. I'm having to grab really small portions of hair to even notice a difference. So weird. This side is so much smoother and prettier looking than this side. Isn't that weird? This is a more defined curl and it's like smooth and pretty and then this side is like, this is the beachy side. It's so weird. This takes so long. I 
does not feel good over the bleach blonde hair either, by the way. It's like, it's not like it's pulling on my hair, but you can feel and hear it. Like it doesn't sound smooth. Does that make sense? Oh, Jesus. So I know they say to grab less hair if you want more voluminous curls, like defined, but honestly, I'm having to do that anyways just to get it to curl. Not want a girl. Okay. By the way, I'm testing a new method where I have a mirror behind the camera, but the mirror is angled, so I'm like looking down. Oh my god. Again, with this one side of my head, it's so weird. And what is this? What is this? You guys. Well, we curled the end of this. This is absolutely ridiculous. Can you see this? And it's like putting a crease in my hair that a curling iron would never do. I'm not enjoying this so far. And my hair feels disgusting, whoa. Usually my hair feels really smooth, especially when I'm curling it because it's like, oh my God, I just got rid of the one curl I put in there. Whatever, I'm moving on. Like, I'm not trying to fry my hair off for this tool. Um, what was I saying? Oh, it just leaves my hair feeling like not healthy. And my hair usually feels really healthy, especially when I curl it. Like the curling, I use a clamp and it makes it, look at that, do you see it? Like, adds a crease. Look, I mean, yeah, I left it on there, but oh gosh, these curls. I am grabbing the smallest portion of hair. This will take me forever. So my hair is so thick. Look, even when I move it fast, I still get those little crease marks. Wow. Okay, look at that curl. One thing I don't like, like when you're trying to do beachy waves, is you really want to leave the ends out. And with this, I guess you can, you just have to release it really fast. Okay, I'm gonna try this one again. I'm gonna try it again. Just cause it looks weird. Doesn't really match. This is ridiculous. What is happening? I have it twisted around twice. This one hair just won't curl and then look at this one, it like left out a section to where it's straight. <laughs> this might be the worst hair tool I've ever tested. Okay, so this is what we're working with now. What? Did I just miss the whole portion of my head or what? What is happening here? This is the most annoying tool I've ever used. And my hair feels like shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like this is not, not worth it. Don't get this. I'm gonna finish my head because I started, but I feel like I've gone over this. Look at that. Yeah, I've gone over my head enough times to know how to use this and it's not getting any easier.
I think this is the best curl yet. Like look, look at the difference though. From just from like a side to side comparison. These back pieces, should I go over them again? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make this look pretty, but I'm not loving this. Oh, I know I just, <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm making my hair look frizzier. This is so weird for me because my hair is usually so straight and sleek. There's that crease. Every time. Oh my God, this is so bad. That one worked, okay. This one, not so much. I'm gonna try this piece again. It's a very loose beachy wave. Do you ever just try something and you're like, okay, I'm ready for this to be done now? That's how I feel with this tool. Oh my God. I think it can tell too, because it's just like, I'm not gonna work for you. Look, half of it, it's like the curl kicks in after a second, like it needs to think about it, and then it appears. But look at this, like I have kinks in my hair now, when it was straight before. What? I feel like as long as the top looks okay, the rest is forgivable, because it like covers it, you know? So I really don't want to mess up the top. bottom half what happens <laughs> oh my gosh this one piece is it too thick I'm gonna try to take some hair out. What is this though? Like this is so bizarre. This one is just not curling. Oh my God. I'm done. That's that. the most random hairstyle I've ever had. Like this side looks really pretty. I would not call this beachy. I would just say this is curled. And I mean, I didn't use hairspray and it is very curled. And then this side, it's like that the ugly stepsister that's just frizzy and just, it's like a whole different head. Like look, this side looks beautiful, which I'm surprised because this one started out much better than this side, remember on the bottom? Like even if you can see it looks fine, but then you got to the top and it was just not having it. So let me show you from behind. How's that look? It's not good. <laughs> okay, so under, over, this way? No, no you go away from your face. Yeah. Okay, don't fall off, don't fall off. Okay. She also has much shorter hair. And maybe go a little slower. I mean, that one isn't bad. No. I feel like it, oh, that's really zoomed in. I feel like it takes a second to like for the curl to realize you curled your hair. Oh, <laughs> Farrah Fawcett, what? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so that is the key. Uh, it like left a flat spot. Ow, there's 
Okay, so maybe not. We have completely different hair too. I feel like mine is so much more coarse. Yeah, I'm really fine. So cute. There you go. Okay, so I think it just depends on your hair type and your patience level. Yeah, I don't have the patience to do this every day. I feel like it's stripping my hair, like pulling it. Mm -hmm. Like when you're dragging it down and... <laughs> <laughs> Flat completely. <laughs> I can't. Okay. It's hard. My left side, like you look at my left side, and then my right side is really pretty. It's like the perfect bouncy curls, and I do feel like it added volume at my roots, which is nice. But that's that's the feeling where you're like, I'm ruining my hair right yeah, now. Yeah, I feel like it's ripping or breaking. I guess your yeah. hair as you <laughs> rip it out. <laughs> Okay, so we all agree that it makes our hair frizzy and it adds these little yeah. kinks when we have straight hair. Like, we don't yeah. kink like that. And this then, is my hair. Yeah, that's like my hair, like stick straight. Mine's a little coarser than yours, so I thought maybe that's why hers was taking it easier. No, it's no. like stick straight. And yeah. we both agree that, like, we would be done with our hair by now. Like, yeah. five minutes. You have curl. to do small pieces with this mm -hmm. and with a curling iron. You can just do a huge chunk. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I mean, I do know what to say. I would say skip this tool. This is not the one. If you want to learn how to curl your hair, I will link my the easiest video in the whole wide world. It will give you like the loosest, prettiest, beachiest waves. It will leave your hair looking more sleek. Like this, this is so unnecessary. If you want to straighten your hair, use your straightener. If you want to curl your hair, don't use this. Just use a curling iron or a wand. I have so many other hair videos with tools that I absolutely love. I will link them below. But this one I would say is a no-go. So thank you guys for watching my experiment with the Remington Twist and Curl. I would say this is a pass. But if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you next time.